Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be going over some of the other features of the Trigger Happy module. Uh, in addition to the Trigger Happy module, I will also be using two other modules. They are the Furnace module and Let Me Roll That For You. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, to get started, I'll go ahead and go over to my journal entries. As a quick reminder, for Trigger Happy to work, you either need to have a journal entry titled Trigger Happy or a folder title trigger happy. If you don't like that name, you can change it in the uh, module settings. But I have a folder, so let's go ahead and go to my journal entry within that folder. And within it, I have two triggers set up. The first one is set to a scene, and it uses at chat message bracket slash roll skill PRC. All right, let's go ahead and break it down what this is doing. So this is using um, one of the macros that comes along with the furnace module. And it is a macro that calls the module, let me roll that for you. So let's take a look at the macro first. Here it is right here. So we can see, um, at chat message, roll skill, PRC. Looking at the macro here, what it does is it takes, um, it takes whatever check you're requesting and it will request it from all of the players. So here I have PRC, that is short for perception. So when my players transition to the scene, it will request a perception check from all of the players. I could change PRC to be anything I want it to be. Um, I could change it to dex, strength, constitution, athletics, acrobatics, any skill within the game. Again, notice how I say skill, not saving throw. For this, it's the skill. We'll talk about saving throws in a little bit. So I will go ahead and transition to the scene. As I transition, you will not see the, um, the role pop up. That's just because I'm on the GM account. But as I transition, any of the players that have moved to the scene will also have the role requested of them. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at that new scene right there. Um, as it's loading up, let me go ahead and show you. This is what let me roll that for you looks like. So we have the characters, <laughs> the trap is, is one of the characters. You can have controlled tokens, assigned characters, whatever you want it to be. Um, and there's a lot going on here, but really quickly, you have ability checks, saving throws, skill checks. Um, you could have a message displayed for this. Basically anything you need to do, and it is set up so that it can be used to request a roll from your player. This is maybe handy if you want it to be something like a surprise or especially I find it handy if I have new players coming in that like are trying to really having a hard time with Foundry or maybe having um, some difficulty learning the program. I have this module so I can just help them out until they get a good grasp of it themselves. All right. So um, as I transition to the scene, um, it would have requested a perception check. Let's go ahead and move on to the next trigger I have on this page. So the next one I have, which I, talk about, I wish I talked about in my first video, is um, assigned to a token. And I have it assigned to this token here. As I can see, the token is named trap. I have at token trap. Pretty simple. Um, the thing about this token is right now it is not visible. It is only visible to me as the GM, but my players cannot see it. And also with this, I have set up that not... Let me go back a little bit. The base functionality of Trigger Happy is that when you click on a token, when a player clicks on a token, that is the way they interact with it. You can change how this functionality works though by using the call at trigger. So I have at trigger capture move. What this will do is move makes it so that when a player moves onto a token that is assigned a trigger, it will have whatever effect is after the trigger. Capture is set so that when a player moves onto it, they can't instantly move away. They'll like pull them into it. So I have at trigger capture move, so it'll both function when they move onto it as well as kind of capture them into place. And then I have at chat message roll save decks. Notice how this looks very similar to the fir first one here at chat message roll skill PRC. That's because it also uses the module. Let me roll that for you. However, I changed the macro just slightly to be for saves. You can see how I changed it right here. I just changed basically wherever there is, let me pull up both so you can compare. 
you can pretty much see wherever there is skill, it was changed to saves. Wherever it was changed skill to saves. Skill checks to saving throws. Pretty simple change, but now I can use it to request saving throws. Alright, so let's see how this functions. It should, if everything functions correctly. When my player moves on to this token, it will request a roll from them. And that roll will be a dexterity saving throw. Let's see. And there you have it. So as the player moves on to it, we have let me roll that for you has popped up. A saving throw has been requested. Dexterity saving throw. And then I can my player can click on it and it will roll. And they rolled a four. Okay, so this is just some base functionality for you. Um, there are more things that you can do with both Trigger Happy and the other modules I've been using in this um, video. However, we'll be going more into deta detail on that on another video. All right, um, or in another video. Hopefully this has helped at least uh, a little bit, and I look forward to um, hearing any comments you might have. Thanks, everyone.